we're given some graph on g of x which is equals to minus tan uh, 3 divided by 2x right and then in 6.1 we're supposed to sketch that graph right uh, on the same axis as f of x uh, which is equals to 2 cos of x as you can see there so we want to sketch a tan graph how do we do that uh, this is what we're going to need so we're going to need uh, the asymptotes of the graph right we're going to need the asymptotes and then apart from that we're going to need the period right if we have that then we're going to be able to sketch our tan graph so let's focus our attention on the asymptotes right uh, we know fully well that when we have tan x our asymptote is at 90 plus the period right so 90 plus uh, 180 you're going to find an asymptote and then um minus 90 minus the period and so on but then now we don't have tan of x instead we have tan of 3 divided by 2 multiplied by x right so in order to find the asymptotes of our new graph we're gonna say that 3 divided by 2x is equals to 90 degrees right because usually we just see x is equals to 90 degrees but then now we don't have x we have 3 divided by 2x right so if we solve for x then at that point which we're gonna uh, find that's where our asymptote is so if we go ahead and do that we're gonna say x is equals to 90 divided by 3 divided by 2 and then if you put that in your calculator you get x is equals to 60 degrees so right now we can come to our graph here and say that here at 60 degrees we have an asymptote right so there goes my asymptote and then the same is true with minus 1 sigisti at minus 1 sigisti we have an asymptote and then i just sketched it right and then now our other asymptote is at uh, 60 plus the period and then minus 60 plus the period so what we can do here now uh, we have determined uh, our asymptotes partially we can then look at the period so how do we determine the period uh, for tan x right uh, the period will just be a uh, period is equals to 180 divided by uh, let's say divided by c right and then for tan x c is 1 so the period is just 180 but then what is c uh, c is this a uh, number here that i'm circling this 3 divided by 2 is our c right so now um our period will be 180 divided by 3 divided by 2 so every time when you want to find a period for a tan graph you say that the period is equals to 180 divided by the coefficient of x so if we do that here we're going to get our period being equals to 180 divided by uh, 3 divided by 2 which is equals to 120 degrees so now our period for our sign graph is 120 degrees and as you can see here from minus 60 to 60 degrees that's 120 right and that's exactly what our period is so now uh, we're going from 60 to plus 120 so what is 60 plus 120 60 plus 120 is 180 right so that means that we have another asymptote here uh, which I'm sketching right and then we're gonna have another asymptote at minus uh, sigisti minus the period right uh, which is um, 120 so we, go, we have another asymptote at minus 180 but then as you can see our domain is only from minus 90 to 180 so we can forget about that other asymptote right and then we can focus on what we have here right so now what we are going to do we are going to substitute a uh, minus 30 0 30 and then we're not going to substitute 60 because we know that uh, that's an asymptote we're going to substitute 90 120 and 150 in order to sketch our graph right so here we have a uh, minus 10 3 divided by 2 uh, and then for x let's substitute minus 30 right if we substitute minus 30 uh, we have one here so uh, there's a point there from our graph and then from minus 30 let's substitute zero if we substitute zero we get zero so we have a point here and then let's substitute uh, 30 if we substitute 30 you get uh, minus one
and then let's substitute 90 why are we not substituting 60 because we know that our graph is not defined at that point uh, when we substitute 90 uh, we get 1 and then when we substitute uh, 120 uh, we get 0 and then when we substitute 150 we get uh, minus 1 right so now we know what the shape of a turn graph looks like right we just join in the points so here uh, we're gonna have something of this manner right and then here we also have um something like that there we go and then i think the only thing we're left with is this minus 90 here right so on our equation we're just going to substitute minus 90 and then that is minus one right so we have another point here and it's going to look uh something like this we going down right the question you might ask now is why is our graph sloping down our graph is sloping down because of this uh minus that we have here right uh this minus that we have here is the reason why our graph is sloping down and then that's how you would draw that graph now let's do 6.2 so 6.2 is saying that uh, let's determine the period of g right our graph uh, minus turn 3 divided by 2x and then we've already determined that right we know that the period is equals to 180 divided by c c being the coefficient of x so here we're just gonna have 180 divided by 3 divided by 2 which is equals to 120 degrees so our period uh for g is uh, 120 degrees and then now let's do 6.3 so 6.3 is saying that uh, let's write down the values of x in the interval x is an element of a minus 90 degrees to 180 degrees for which f is decreasing right for which f is decreasing f is this uh function here f of x is equals to 2 cos of x right uh, we need to look at where it is decreasing uh, so let's go and look at that function if we go to the negative axis uh, you will see that f of x is actually increasing right until at this point when x is equal to zero uh, after x is equal to zero uh, going to the positive axis our graph is actually decreasing until at the end of our interval at 180 degrees right at 180 degrees our graph changes direction so it is neither increasing or decreasing right so our answers are the values of x are in the interval minus 90 to 180 degrees uh, for which f is decreasing uh, will be when uh, will be between zero degrees uh and 180 degrees uh why are we using the cats and not the brass so these are these are the brass right and then uh these are the cats these are the cats so we use the brass when we want to include those values of interest right and then we use the cats when we want to exclude them so we want to exclude zero here because it is neither increasing or decreasing so we use the cat and then 180 we don't want to include it we want to exclude it we use the cat but then if we wanted to include that value we're gonna use the bra right and that's how you yeah essentially solve the problem so here uh, let me remove uh, these lines that i just drew so that uh, we can solve our problem so let's do 6.4 so 6.4 says that uh, let's use the graph of g to determine for which values of x uh, will g of x be greater or equals to 1 so that's our turn graph right we're looking at points where it is greater or equals to 1 so greater or equals to 1 definitely on the positive y-axis right and then we know that uh, here we have 1 here right and then uh, from minus 60 degrees right to minus 30 degrees our graph is greater or equals to one but then obviously we're not going to include uh, minus 60 degrees because our graph is not uh, defined there right so we're going to say uh, the cat and then minus 60 degrees and then at minus 30 degrees our graph is equals to one right and that's part of uh, our solution so we're going to include it uh, by using 
uh, the bra instead, right? And then uh, there we go. Uh, we're excluding minus 60, but we're including uh, minus 30 because our graph is defined there. And that means our criteria of g of x being greater or equals to 1. So now uh, let's look at the other uh, part of our graph, right? Uh, we can see here that uh, we have 1, right? We have 1 here. So between uh, 60 degrees and at 90 our graph is greater or equals to uh, 1 right so again we're going to use the cat to exclude uh, 60 degrees and now we have 60 degrees and not minus 60 so then we use the cat to exclude 60 degrees and then to include uh, 90 degrees uh, we're just going to put uh, the bra and yeah there we go um, let's use 6.5 uh, 6.5 is saying that uh, the function h is obtained by translating the graph of g 30 degrees to the right I write down the equation of h so the graph of g so the graph of g we have g of x uh, being equals to some minus tan uh, 3 divided by 2x and then uh, h we get it by um, translating g 30 degrees to the right so the general formula right the general form of a tan graph some k of x uh, being equals to a uh, tan of b uh, multiplied by x uh, plus c plus d so what happens here is that a right a it stretches our graph right it stretches our graph along uh, the vertical it doesn't push it up or down but then it stretches it along the vertical and then what happens with b b it changes our period right like we established in 6.1 and then what happens with c right c is actually our point of focus it shifts our graph along the x axis right and then uh, d it shifts our graph along uh, the y axis so let's focus on the x axis that's what we're interested in right so on the x-axis, if a c is greater than zero, then we move in to the left. And then if c is less than zero, then we move in to the right. So here um, in 6.5, we are translating our graph 30 degrees to the right. And consequently, we're going to have c being equals to minus 30 degrees uh, because we're moving 30 degrees uh, to the right. And then our equation will become uh, h of x is equals to minus tan of, and then we can have 3 divided by 2. And then instead of x, we have x minus uh, 30 degrees.